Hi guys, I think I picked the darkest spot in the whole parking lot <laughs> to film my intro, but it is Dollar Tree haul time. I am at the Dollar Tree. Please excuse that obnoxiously loud engine. I don't really know why, um, but I saw all these amazing Valentine's Day Dollar Tree hauls and I was like, let me get there real quick so I can get my kids some Valentine's. Hopefully I won't do, you know, too much damage because, you know, buying little stuff here and there just turns into clutter, you know? But if this is your first time watching me, hello, welcome to my channel. My name is Gia. I'm a working mom who posts videos about Costco, hauls, uh, organizing, uh, budgeting, all of the above. I would love for you to join my YouTube family by clicking the subscribe button down below. And for those already subscribed, welcome back. It's been a while since I've been to Dollar Tree, so let's get in there and see what they have. Oh, this little stuff is so cute. But I don't really decorate for um, anything but Christmas because I'm incredibly lazy and it just will just get dusty. I'll just leave something like this on the, on the shelf all year and it'll just turn into another thing I have to dust. So I just say no, but the cutest little stuff my girls like little tchotchke stuff like this like little containers like this to put their shopkins in or something but like i said it just ends up getting too full of clutter but i may make them like a, this is so cute this is, let's see does this work oh you have to put a battery in it that's cute and it lights up it's really cute that would be a great project too bad i'm not crafty like that either but I might get them a little something, maybe something like this to um, put a few Valentine's Day candies in and that'll be their gift, something small. Oh, look at that. That's so cute. Of course, I love Dollar Tree's gift bags. It's the best. I mean, I guess this would be good for if you had a Valentine's Day party, but who has a Valentine's Day party? Like, it's so random. But it's like the cutest little stuff. Like this would be cute to like take to school, put Valentine's Day stuff into school. I don't know if her school does that. I need to find that out today. This pre-made stuff, make it easy for yourself. This is really cute. Really, really cute. Oops. Oops. But this is really adorable. There's only a few left here. Oh, of course you got your typical candy. Oh, here's the Valentine's. This is really why I came to get some Valentine's. Just in case we have to have them. I'll already have them. Like, they have all different kinds, like Shopkins. I have My Little Pony Disney Princess. And it's all a dollar, which is amazing. Oh, Paw Patrol, Frozen. Hmm. I wonder which one of my girls would want. I think Sarah's really into Shopkins right now. I'll probably have to split them up because they're in this this phase where it's like the same for everything. So maybe I'll get one Disney princess and then um, one Shopkins and then I'll just split it up half and half for each. Oh, they have more. They have trolls, really cute. And then they have like all these stickers and stuff. Doc McStuffins. Oh, you get 32 Valentines and 32 stickers. That's cute. Huh. Whoa, Dollar Tree. <laughs> Whoa, because we have um, St. Patrick's Day and Easter. All in the same little section. <laughs> I'm not ready for that yet, but it is cute. Super cute. This would be cute to wear for the girls for school. Oh, look at these little rocks. The glitter. Same thing with the Valentine's Day ones. These are cute. Cute. See how he he's just lost in here? Just start buying crap. Turns into just junk. This is the section that I love so much because then I start buying too much stuff. Like look at these for like crayons and stuff and pencils. Love it. So cute. Um, do I need it though, Gia? Do I really need it? Do I need it? Oh, I can write cursive. This is cute. I'm sorry. Those were in cursive. These are good sheets. I'm gonna get this. Look at this wall map. I think I'm gonna get this to put in their room and it's a quick way for me to go over the states with Sarah. Ava will be learning them too because she does go to the same Montessori school now. They have great like just like little learning things. I love the Dollar Tree for this kind of stuff. These are great for um, hand dye coordination. I mean, so Ava used these to pick up little pom-pom balls. So many great activities. Love, love, love it. 
course, pens. Now, I am a pen snob. I will say that. I am a pen snob. Oh, oh these look kind of cute. I don't know if they write good. I am a pen snob. You guys, <laughs> if any of you guys have seen my back to school um, haul where I buy myself primarily back to school stuff, even though I do buy stuff for the girls, but it's primarily for myself because I love it so much, then you know how I am. Oh, I wanted to get some wet erase markers. I wonder if they have any here. Let me see. Let's see dry erase. Because wet erase I hear is better for my Erin Condren. But I think I'm going to just buy some more dry erase markers anyway. Because Ava needs them for her little learning binder. Let's see. I do need another folder. Some of their learning things. Ava. I want her to have her own folder. This is really cute. They have nice folders here too. Really nice. I love these with the pockets. I have a pink one already at home. Like this. Oh no, no, not like this. This is the kind, like a little portfolio thing, but like um, this color pink I have at home, so I'm gonna get a blue one. Two. Um, look at this little grabber. I knew they had these at Dollar Tree. That's pretty cool. One dollar though, I can't beat it. Now I'm looking for this car cleaner rag thing that I bought for my car. My, now my husband wants one too. I don't see them. Hmm. Looks like an awfully small steering wheel cover, doesn't it? Oh, they, they don't have them. Darn it. Love the empty spray bottles. I went through this phase where I wanted to make my own cleaners, but I never actually did it. Um, because I have to like get all the essential oils and stuff, but this is a great place to buy them. Here it is. This is what I was looking for, except for it was like a rag, but I think my husband would like this better. As a matter of fact, I like this better. Instead of it just being a rag, you can quickly dust your car down. So I'm gonna get this for him. Or should I get this one? Which is better? Oh, this is the answer to my I lose every sock request. This is the answer here. You put the socks in here and close the bag up and then wash it. Mm, delicates bag. I'm gonna, I'm gonna get one of these. I love these containers too. I wish they had them in more like different colors, but they are collapsible. Very useful. I like to get the kids these like little learning books and stuff. Cute. My kids have so many of these and it's like, do you, do you really need another book? You know, um, it really does start to clutter up. This is cute. Oh my gosh, Lisa Frank. I loved her pens as a kid and notebooks and stuff. Does anybody else leave a comment down below and let me know if you remember Lisa Frank. I did not know they sold stuff at least by Lisa Frank in the Dollar Tree. I also really love the puzzles too. Zara and I enjoy doing these. Ava, she sometimes does them, but sometimes she just doesn't um, have the patience to do them. So, but I do um, enjoy them. Zara does the 48 piece one easily by herself but let's see if I can find a really cute one for Ava these are the little pom-poms you can get different sizes at um, Hobby Lobby that I have Ava just like pick up with her tongs those little tongs it's really good practice for her of course they love pipe cleaners this is where I start getting lost I'll buy all this stuff and then not have the time to really do everything I need so I really like to only buy um, you know what I know I'm gonna use and stuff but it's good to know I mean it's a lot cheaper than going to Hobby Lobby for some of this stuff my kids love these little washcloths I buy them from here only a dollar they wash really well too but they love them I also have these little travel bottles which I think is cool they're hard I use these for my girls and their hair and I just cut them out when I'm done but it's much cheaper than going to the beauty supply store I just come here and get it for a dollar they do sell e.l.f. here at the Dollar Tree. This Dollar Tree doesn't have a large section of e.l.f. stuff. Looks like it's kind of picked over, but it's good to know. This is a clear organizer. It's cute. Wow. I sell Telenol here. It's a dollar for six in Advil. I didn't realize that. Oh, I love these. These are because what are left, but love 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 these i just don't want red though 
See, it's the point where it's like, I kind of want to buy it just so I can figure out a way to use it. And that's how you get yourself in trouble. You know? I don't want to just buy it and try to figure out how I can use it. I mean, I can use it for their new little learning table that I bought, but these are kind of big. I don't know. Look at all this beautiful organizational stuff. So cute. I use containers like this for their hair supplies and stuff. These are like so cute. I'm trying to figure out what I need. Like I kind of want to just buy something and then figure out something that I need. I love this for like papers and stuff. But where am I going to put it? I just wish they had like white. That would be nice. Oh, here's white. I only have this size though. Their um, kitchen utensils game has really stepped up over the years too. Here at the Dollar Tree. I like um, this Betty Crocker, some of these Better Crocker stuff. I have this at home. But yeah, really nice. Of course, they have their lined paper over here, or um, contact paper, I should say. Wish they had marble, but they don't. But they have this really pretty print. It's pretty. These are really nice quality organizers. I only see that size though, and then they also have these. These are three, four dollar. All right, guys, so I'm back home and I'm gonna quickly show you what I got. Okay, I got this cursive, I can write cursive book for Zara because she does um, write in cursive at school. And also the map that I showed you in the store in the folder. Some dry erase markers for Ava. I saw this 63 piece puzzle set. I don't think she's ever done a 63 piece puzzle set by herself, Zara, I'm talking about. And I bought Ava a 24 piece PJ Masks because she likes that show. Bought them their Valentines. I liked these better because it comes with 32 Valentines and then 32 stickers. And I'll split them up, half Moana for Zara, half Moana for Ava, and then the same with the um, Doc McStuffins, but super cute. <clears throat> And I bought this Tylenol pack because every so often when I get a really bad headache, I wish I would have Tylenol, but I, you know, I never have any like a full bottle because I won't use it before the expiration date. So this comes in handy to have. And these are great to travel with too. Uh, an alphabet book for Zara so she can practice her print as well besides just her cursive and then numbers and counting for Ava to practice writing. This Delicates bag, bag, which I'm really excited to try to use to see if this will help corral the girls' socks um, when it's time for me to wash them. Because right now, downstairs, when they take their shoes off, they put their socks in this. And then when it's time to wash, I just take it upstairs and wash it. But what I'll start doing is um, I'll start just putting them in the Delicates bag down here and then wash it and bring the bag down back down when they're done. And I also bought this for my hubby for his car, and that's it. I spent a grand total of $13.78. Not bad. So that's it, guys. Have you been to the Dollar Tree lately? Have you done any organizational projects with the do any Dollar Tree containers? I love those. I'm always finding some, trying to find something to do with those containers just to have an excuse to buy them. But that's it. Leave a comment down below and let me know um, what you've recently bought from the Dollar Tree. Thanks so much for watching. If you haven't hit that subscribe button yet, you can tap my picture up above, and you can also check out my previous video right over here and all of my social media platforms all listed down below. Thanks so much for watching, guys, and I'll see you in the next video. Bye.